Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be doing a quick ride and review and installation of some 2020 RockShox 35 Gold RL. So we're going to be covering it all. So on to the video. So these forks are RockShox 35 Gold RL. They're off the 2020 Trek Remedy 7. Uh, now I bought these on eBay. They were £300 uh, with postage and I'm gonna have to spend a bit of extra for them on other, other parts, but that's beside the point. These were 300 quid. They retail for about 450 to 500 pounds if you can get them new. Uh, they're pretty tidy. Uh, nice blue color from the, the Trek. Uh, they've got the nice 35 mil stanchion, so they feel nice and uh, nice and firm on the, on the trail. Um, they can fit up to a 2.6, I know for sure, maybe 2.8, not quite sure, I'll have to check about that but they can definitely fit 2.6 as that's what the remedy comes with standard they have a 1 and 1 8 tapered steerer tube mine already has the crown race on it um, yeah this is cut to 180 180 millimeters so that's nice um, so yeah overall they're pretty tidy forks and yeah here's a quick quick overview of so them. as you can see here these forks have a 44 millimeter offset 160 mil of travel and fit 27.5 inch wheels. They also have this nice little rubber area to show your how far your forks have gone and here's a list of the PSI ratings which I'll put a picture of now. So here is the rebound adjuster. Uh, mine seems a little stiff but shouldn't be a problem. Uh, here's the serial number for the item which works for the, the app to set it up and all that. Underside's nice and tidy, no rust. Uh, the star nuts already installed so that'll save me a job. Won't be cutting them down anytime soon. Uh, here's the compression adjuster, uh, all the way to the left is the lockout and all the way to the right is all the way unlocked out so and it's got clicks so you can feel how locked out it is, how stiff. This is the, the air cap here, I found this can be a bit stiff sometimes so I had it quite loose but that's just your simple, simple air cap. So I put the serial number I showed you all earlier into the RockTrox Trailhead app and it brings up the page for the 35 gold RL so we have all the serial numbers part numbers model names etc uh, wheel size 27.5 has 160 mil travel tapered steerer tube 15 by 110 millimeter boost axle the damper is motion control it can take up to two bottomless tokens it has a crown mounted damper adjust D bon air spring uh, should be diffusion black but obviously mine isn't and the minimum rotor size is 180 millimeters however i run 203 so it's not a problem so as you can tell these forks aren't on my bike as of yet uh only they only arrived earlier today so i haven't had a chance to put them on and i'm still waiting on a axle as they don't have one and i also need some spacers for up here because the steerer tube is slightly longer than the one that's already on my bike uh but yeah they seem nice so i just need to wait on those parts and then We'll put them on, but you guys won't have to wait. So, here you go. the forks on the bike for a little bit of time now I uh, went for a bit of a, a ride um, just came back and was filming some stuff that you'll see in a minute uh, just for to show how much how the fork moves and all that and then it started raining as you can see so everything got a bit soaked so we went back in so anyway here is my RockShox 35 on the bike uh, Nukeproof Scout 275 from 2018 so a bit old but everything went on, on no problem we do have no front brake uh, because these have a slightly different offset to the Suntors that were on it beforehand, meaning the like caliper was in a different place and I needed some more washers, which I didn't have. So I just took everything off for the front brake. So I've just been running it with the rear brake only, which isn't too much of a problem. It's been a bit weird though, but not too bad, not too bad. Um, so yeah, uh, I'll show you some videos now of uh, the compression uh, in slow-mo and you can have a, a better look at that. So 
now to my overall uh, review of the RockShox 35. I think they're a fantastic fork. Um, I don't have the best point of view to review from, considering I've only ever owned some coil sun tools that work and some air sun tools that don't work, but from someone who's never really had nice quality forks before, these are really nice. Uh, they're a good price point, they're only £300, they're quite quite affordable, I uh, managed to save up my money pretty quick. Um, so yeah, overall they're nice, they've got 160mm travel, which changes the head angle a bit, but it's quite nice actually, it makes it a bit nicer for you know going down stuff, uh, down the trail and all that. So yeah, overall I think these are a fantastic fork, and if you can get some for cheap, uh, i definitely recommend doing it. So yeah, thank you all for watching this uh, little review, um, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.